Hi, I'm Joshua Pierce. I'm the Thompson Chair of Innovation, cross-appointed in the Ivy School of Business, as well as the Faculty of Engineering at Western University. Here we are in the world's first agrivoltaic agrotunnel. Agrivoltaic means we're combining solar photovoltaics and agriculture, where we're growing crops outside underneath solar panels, and then we're using the power from the solar panels to power this tunnel where we have indoor vertical growing. The goal of the agrivoltaic agritunnel is to provide locally grown food all year round so that we have a secure food supply, whether you're in the far north of Canada or here in London. As climate change makes it more and more difficult to do conventional farming, this gives us a way at least to provide food for our population. And we're trying to do it at lower price points so that we're all not shocked every time we go to the grocery store. Vertical farming has become really popular as a way to have a secure food supply in Canada and throughout the rest of the world. The problem with it is it uses an enormous amount of energy. And as the energy prices went up, many companies that had already kind of done some good research in this field went bankrupt. What we're trying to do here in the agrivoltaic agritunnel is cut the energy piece out of the equation. And so solar provides all of the energy. But in addition to that, we also reduce the energy use inside the agritunnel as much as possible. Inside this building, uh, which is roughly a thousand square feet, we're actually doing the same amount of growing if all of these walls fill the entire building of 10 acres outside. So it's extremely efficient use of land. We're hardly using any water and it's completely, it's a net zero energy building. We're using only the power of the solar panels on the outside to power the systems on the inside. A lot of agriculture has been completely industrialized. And so when you grow lettuce, for example, outside, you have a large harvester come through and, and do it all. Here, it's all cut and come again. And so this, the lettuce behind me has been growing for months. You literally just take off the, the big leaves and leave two leaves for the next week. And it's a full head of lettuce again by the next, next week. And so you're continuously harvesting, you're continuously getting crop out. And so from a farmer's perspective, it's year round income and year round employment for their, their workers. This project was sponsored by the Western Family Foundation as part of the Homegrown Innovation Challenge. And they were specifically going after berries. So strawberries are currently our kind of show-stopping hit. Uh, we're also growing all kinds of microgreens and salad greens. Uh, we're trying amaranths as a source of protein. Um, and really, this entire structure is an experiment. We're trying new experiments every day. Uh, lots of different crops are potentially viable here. We're looking at onions, potatoes. There's lots of different ways, things that can be done in this agritunnel. One of the intriguing things about the, the agrotech agritunnel is that it would work anywhere where humans currently occupy Earth. So as long as we're getting sunlight, it will function. And the one that I'm standing in is semi-mobile so that it can really kind of even go on the inside of a city. But we have other versions that you put underground. One of the intriguing things that we've been thinking about is you could use the same principles on other planets or the moon uh, to provide the food that you need for your population. What we've done here in the Agrivoltaic Agritunnel is prove that it is technically possible to grow fruits and vegetables year round in London, Ontario, using a net zero energy building powered completely from the sun. The next step is to show that this is economic. And that's what we're doing now. We have tons of different sub growing experiments where we're looking at the yields that are coming off the wall per port so that we can approximate that to the entire structure and be able to tell a potential investor whether or not they get a high ROI or not with particular type of crop. We're hoping in the, the second phase of this research that we can expand and put several agrivoltaic agritunnels throughout all of Canada. We'd like to try a subterranean one that would have even more insulation and have the ability to grow food on top of the structure as well as inside of it. Uh, we want to try things in the extreme north to see if we can't cut down on both the diesel usage, but also have provide fresh fruits and vegetables at reasonable costs um, to our, our northern citizens. Currently, they're paying $5 per potato. I'm very confident I can beat that in this tunnel. And there's no reason that we can't do all the different fruits and vegetables. And so instead of having kind of food deserts and for parts of the population, everybody can, can eat healthily, really no matter where they live on the planet.